Served in Vietnam in 66, 67, was wounded and uh, sent home. I was with a generation of Vietnam veterans. Uh, the whole generation fell through the cracks. When I came home, I was not treated very well, particularly young women would holler and scream at me and uh, <clears throat> do all kinds of things. Young people spitting on me, calling me baby killers. It was very difficult. So emotionally, I was scarred pretty dramatically from that. And it's taken 40 something years to get over that. Branson has such a draw, and it's just not Veterans Week. It's every week of the year. Anybody that is a veteran is welcome here. When you walk down the street and you've got your Vietnam hat on, your, your Desert Storm hat, and somebody invariably will always come up and shake your hand and thank you for your service. Most every place I've been here, they do something for you. We're invited to several shows, and they always take pause to identify and praise the veterans in the audience. If a veterans group has a reunion, they're here because they're invited to come be here. Some of these guys might not have seen each other for 40 years because now we're seeing more and more Vietnam reunions. The Veterans Day Parade, it's the largest Veterans Day Parade in the entire country. Interesting thing is during one of the Veterans Day parades, I had a lady actually come up to me my age and apologize to me. She said she was actually one that spit on the GIs. And she started crying, made me start crying. Missouri Vietnam Veterans Memorial is a memorial that we had sanctioned by the state of Missouri. It will have a listing of all 1,610 Missouri residents who lost their life in Vietnam. And it is due to be dedicated on the College of the Ozarks campus right here in Branson, Missouri, April of 2015. This Missouri Vietnam Memorial will be built on the campus of a college. I think that is so significant because if you go back to the history and you see what happened on campuses all over this country during the Vietnam War. If nothing else is a healing opportunity, this is. And we are so delighted the fact that the College of the Ozarks is the one that has been chosen to build this great memorial. And now we're able to come home and uh, be an example to these young guys, help them out, uh, show them that life goes on. There comes a time where we are going to have to pass the torch to the next generation, and that's gonna be a difficult thing because it's taken the Vietnam vet 40-something years to come out of their shell. Well, once the Vietnam veteran has gone, then the next generation is going to be the Desert Storm, the Desert Shield, the Afghanistan, the Iraqi vets, or whatever other conflict they happen to get into. I served in Afghanistan and Iraq. I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. I had a brain injury and I suffer from seizures. These guys, even though they're Vietnam vets, they've helped me to get out, and now I'm in uh, beautiful Branson. I'm out playing golf, fishing. These events here, they help me cope with my mood and my situation. Just the ability to talk and to socialize with these young men and women gives them an opportunity to start the healing process. The Vietnam veteran is there for them. We'll be there to help them any way that we can. It is so refreshing to be able to be around people that understand what you are, how you got there. And it's not just the veterans that have been in war, but there's a lot of veterans that serve that need the warmth and the welcome and the thank yous. It makes me feel proud to have served. It's just like a big love, you know? It's like a real big love. America stands strong. Let's fight for our freedom. Remember the reason this country has survived. This is a place where veterans can come home, come back home, 
and feel the camaraderie. What we have every single day did not come without sacrifice. And I think the sacrifice that our military makes every single day and every year is what our country is all about.